Um, thank you. Um, I I didn't know that it was going to end that early. I, you know, was hoping to do a little bit more striking and then, uh, you know, maybe work on all the things that we have been working on in this camp because I've had a really good fight camp. So, you know, I wanted to show all of that, but you know, anything can happen in a fight, and so this, the opportunity presented itself. So I just, I, you know, I took it. Uh, yes, I mean the the Olympics. That was the uh, you know the biggest and the largest stage that I've ever performed at. So it definitely um, gave me the experience as as far as you know um, the big lights and all the pressure. So for me, uh, the mental game and just relaxing myself is a big part. That's also part of my training camp, um, especially the last week leading up to the fight. So you know whether it's um, whether it's a club show or if it's you know just a, or a big show, I I still go through the same process. So that way, the venues can change, but the, my method and the process it remains the same. Are you all in on MMA now? Yes, my focus is MMA. Yes. Not working on Wall Street anymore. None no. of that. <laughs> no. Was that, was I'm that on a hard sabbatical. job? Was that a hard job to leave? Uh, I, I assume the money was probably pretty good. The money was great, um, but you know it wasn't. It was something I could do, but it wasn't really my, my passion. When did you find that, that fighting was your passion? I've, I've always had an interest in it. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I would watch a lot of Bruce Lee videos and, uh, you know, movies. That was my first exposure to martial arts without me even knowing what it was. I just knew that the, the, like the discipline and the lifestyle was kind of something that just caught my attention. Um, I was finally able to start formally training after after college, actually. Um, but I think ever since I was a kid, before knowing anything about martial arts, about boxing or anything like that, I've, I was always kind of drawn to martial arts. And so when I was finally able to get formal training, it you know I just like ran with it. It, it was. You know, it was finally like, you know, I've always wanted to do it, and now that I'm able to do it, like, I love it. <laughs> Anyone in your life asking, like, why are you, why are you choosing this over the uh, lucrative career? You know, why are you getting punched in the face for a living instead of taking all that, that money on the table? Just passion. I mean, I don't have a passion for getting punched in the face. It's more of <laughs> I, I respect the process, and it's, you know, there's more to martial arts than just the fight you know that's just one aspect of it so i you know i i'm passionate about the lifestyle about learning about you know building character so those are the aspects of martial arts that i'm drawn to so that's where my passion goes um yeah is that a conversation that you've had with a lot of people like your family yes. sit yes. them down and say all yeah. right here's here's what i'm doing now mm -hmm. was that hard uh no they're very supportive Well, um, I know that I connected on two solid punches that I know, like, I knew it rocked her. Um, and I heard her saying, okay, okay, but I, but I don't, the ref, I don't think he noticed it. So, you know, I, I wanted to back off, but I, I couldn't because the ref didn't notice it yet. So I'm like, okay, I, like, I just have to keep going, even though I heard her saying, okay, okay. Um, yeah. You think she was saying okay because of whatever went on with her? Life? I think she just wanted the punches to stop. Um, and I wanted to stop as well, but the ref didn't see it yet. So that's when I, you know, I, I kind of took a pause and then I just continued going, just, you know, to solidify it, to solidify it. How helpful has been working with uh, Caitlin been? Obviously, she's a top 125 in the world. <laughs> I love Caitlin. Um, it's been amazing. This fight camp, you know, I have amazing coaches, my training partners. You know, I'm I'm incredibly grateful to them. They've really helped me out so much. So, you know, I'm just really thankful and grateful to and all my amazing coaches and just an incredible team that I have.
How are you gonna celebrate your first win in MMA? Uh, <laughs> it's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Guinness. I was like, <laughs> do I say that here? But in my head, that's exactly what I was thinking. Guinness. Yes. Um, it felt, it felt great. I mean, you know, I, I didn't really think, you know, too, too much of that. It was just, you know, I'm another fight on, on the card. It feels great. I mean, yeah, it feels, it feels awesome. <laughs> So how far do you want to take this MMA thing? This, this is your new this is your new thing. This is your new career, right? This yeah. Is you wanna well, we'll see do. how far yeah. we get. Well, you know, we'll we can take it. Um, I don't have all the answers right now. I'm just really because I'm still very excited, uh, <laughs> but um, I still have a lot to learn, uh, you know. But I'm very trusting of my team, and so you know, when they say it's go time, then it's go time. So, yeah. I defer to them on almost everything. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to learn? Like what, 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 is your, what is your big thing you have to learn, you think? Well, also on, on top of, aside from technique, um, you know, like a lot, of, a lot of ground game, you know, because striking is my background. So there's just um, so many aspects to MMA that, you know, that's new to me. Um, which includes, you know, the cage wrestling. Um, it, you know, the cage is when your back hits the cage, it's different than when, when you, your, your back hits the ropes. There's a little bit of give on the ropes, and so it's just a different feel. Um, so there are a lot of aspects that I still have to, uh, to work on. But, you know, I'm, I'm patient, and I, I just respect the process. So, you know, we'll just take it one step at a time. Uh, it's just really hard for me to keep the weight off because when we go into fight camp, you know, I, even, even if I was eating a lot, we, we would be training so much that it would be, it, it's usually really hard for me to maintain 120, um, unless I'm not in fight camp. So I don't think anytime soon I would be fighting flyweight. Um, I, I prefer straw weight. Yeah. Uh, well, my, my dad has uh, some experience in martial arts. He, um, you know, he, he practiced uh, Taekwondo. And um, I, was, I asked him to show me, you know, like to teach me some techniques. And, and he did, but, you know, with the one, the, the rule was I just couldn't use it outside of the house. But being very excited, you know, and um, with all my my cousins and my siblings we would play fight all the time and so you know I'm like hey I learned this new technique <laughs> used it and then got in trouble so he just squashed that um, but he's the only uh, person in my immediate family that's had some experience with with martial arts um, it's uh, they are they're trying to um, develop uh, organized sports and they've recently uh, become a member of AIBA which is the International Boxing Association so um, that was as of 2000 I think like 14 uh, and so ever since they became a member uh, you know they've they recruited me and asked me to you know to represent the country so they're trying to grow the program um, and with the with a focus in boxing um, as far as any other martial arts um, I think um, I'm, not a, I'm not in Micronesia, I'm not aware that they're trying to grow any of those programs, but I know for boxing they definitely are. When you were in college, could you have imagined then that one day you'd be in the Olympics and now knocking people out you know, at, at a big MMA show? Uh, well, when they announced in, when I was still in, in college, I, I wanted to get into boxing. Um, they announced that that uh, they would be including the women's division in 2012. And so it was in 2012 was when I, I got really serious about the next run. But prior to that, prior to the announcement, I, I just knew that I wanted to get started with my formal training in boxing. It's just a surreal feeling. You know, I'm, I'm really, I was just really excited and I still am excited. Um, 
but in a nutshell, it's just very surreal and I'm just trying to soak it all in. Bring on the Guinness. Bring on the Guinness, yes. <laughs> I don't have a preference because it's like comparing apples and oranges. It's not, they're not the same sport. There are aspects that transfer over, but it, you know you, you you can't really um, you can't really like compare the two because they're just too many there are too many variables and just different elements to each. And you know in boxing, I know that it's you know you can have that purist mentality in boxing. Um, in MMA, because you're you're including so many different disciplines, you can't really uh, focus on a purist uh, mentality. Whether it's boxing, taekwondo, jujitsu, you have there's that transition in between disciplines that you have to um, uh, take into consideration. Uh, so that's kind of you know my stance on on that. I love them both, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>